Hey, what's up guys? Twice here with another deck profile. This one is for Genesis Dragon Amnesty Messiah. You guys saw this in one of our last fights, and it works really well. I mean, it's it's able to build up a lot of power really quickly. Uh, it's cool how Link Joker has a new style of play. It's not so control-based. It's actually kind of more technical, which is what I prefer. So I kind of, I'm kind of thinking about building this deck maybe, but that's, I mean, Sovereign Star doesn't come out until next month, so we'll see how it goes. I kind of have to build Great Nature first, but, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so we have uh, four Genesis Dragon Amnesty Messiah to start us off. Uh, great card, Counterblast 1, when it attacks Vanguard, pay the cost, you do... You unlock any number of cards in the field, and then it gets plus 3k for each card unlocked. And if three or more cards were unlocked, then it gets an extra critical. Really good. It's actually great early game pressure because it's not hard to lock three cards early game and then be able to get that extra crit. So even if you lock, unlock just three cards, then you're looking at a Vanguard that's sitting at a 35 crit 2 base. And then if you give it a booster, then it's going to be swinging for like, you know, at least 42. That's incredible. This thing's going to force out a perfect guard very early from your opponent because it's it's so threatening. Um, and it combos so well with everything else in this deck. I'm, we really couldn't have asked for a better boss G unit than Amnesty Messiah. Um, but, I mean, Judgment Messiah is another great card. Um, so we run four of him. When this unit's attack hits, uh, choose a regard in your opponent's back row, unlock it, and then you unlock any card on the field. He lets you pick and choose more so, like, which cards you're locking and unlocking, which can be more helpful sometimes just to, you know, choose how you want to gain your advantage. And again, this is where I say that it, the deck has gotten a little more technical. Um, you can use other cards in this deck as well, like, Big Crunch is not a bad card to run because you can Omega Lock a Column for pretty low cost. And even uh, Maximum Steel Dragon I was considering running for a little bit. Uh, it's They don't combo as well with the rest of the cards, but the, again, they can still be used and pretty well. But I kind of prefer the Messiahs. But moving on to the Great Threes, speaking of Messiah, Alter Ego Messiah is our first one. He is our Gen Break 2 Stride Bonus, and his ability is Soul Lost 1. When a locked card is unlocked, you may pay the cost, you do draw a card. Really nice, harken back to our good old friend, Chaos Breaker. Uh, it's a good draw engine. You can actually, this thing lets you live a little bit longer in the later game, even because if you're facing something that gets more power as the game goes on, like let's say Cosmic Heroes, then you're going to want a card like this who lets you draw into more cards by, you know, unlocking certain, you know, things on the field. So he's definitely a very utilitarian card later in the game. Uh, stride bonus is counter lost one, and you lock one of your rear guards. Uh, during your turn, when your G-Unit strides, you pay the cost. And you do, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards, any one of them, lock it, and your Vanguard gets plus 5k. So if you stride Amnesty on top of this thing, and then use Amnesty's ability, then you're looking at, like I said, uh, let's see, 35 plus, so that's a 40k base Vanguard. Give it a 7k booster, that's a 47k crit to attack like when you stride, your first time striding, that's incredible. Uh, so Alter Ego Messiah is a, an amazing boss card, boss grade 3 at least for this deck. And then um, Neutron Star Lady Gunner, great other grade 3 actually, she's she's really helpful in a lot of situations. Gen Break 1, you choose one of your other regards and lock it, and when this unit is placed on the Vanguard regard circle, you pay the cost, you choose one of your opponent's regards, again any one of them, and then lock that as well. So you get two cards locked with this thing. Again, it's actually not really which cards are locked, more so how many locked cards you have, especially if you're going for Amnesty, which this thing sets up really well. So uh, she's been a great alternative grade 3. There's not many other grade 3s that I've found to be as helpful as she is in you know just most cases. I'm sure that there's a lot of other things that you could throw in here, but personally, I like Neutron Star Lady Gunner the best. And then on to the grade 2s. We have three Sunset Edge Duskblade. I have been debating for a while as to whether or not I want to run him or Osmium. There's a very good case that could be made for either of them, because Omega Locking is great, but the consistent locking that Duskblade can offer, granted with a consistent, you know, counter lost one cost, which isn't always that helpful, um, you know, it's, it's pretty hard to, to choose between. I've tried them both, and they bo both work well. I think I prefer Duskblade, but it really is up to preference, at least to me. Then we have four Lady Battler of Gravity Well. Gen Break 1, choose one of your other rearguards and lock it. It gets plus four canes in the end of the turn. 
Nice in the fact that it combos really well with our other grade 2, Awaking Messiah, whose abilities generate 1. When he's unlocked, you stand one of your other rear guards and he gets plus 2. So the strategy is to lock this thing with uh, Lady Battler here, and then attack with her, and then attack with, you know, something that can unlock a card, or boost with, like, this card, White Dwarf Lady Battler. Unlock him, and then re-stand this card with another plus two, because she's going to keep the 4,000 from her own ability. So now she's at a 15k base. And that's, like, super good. Like, it's it's really powerful. Um, I'm glad that they have something that can re-stand. Uh, and it actually gives you a reason to run crits in the deck, too. But anyway, yeah, so the grade two lineup is pretty synergetic. I like the fact that we have Dustblade in here. But there's a couple different ways you could run the grade twos in this Link Joker deck. Because it's a little more lenient on that end. But, like I said, four White Dwarf Lady Battlers, amazing grade one, really actually one of the most useful cards in the deck, if not, like, the most useful after Amnesty Messiah. Gen Break one, when this unit boosts, you choose a locked card, unlock it, and then the boosted unit gets plus 4k. You're unlocking a card, and she's an 11k booster. It's pure power, it combos really well with a lot of other cards, and, I mean, she's a 7k base. It's, like, it's perfect. She's such a, a utilitarian card. You can use her in so many different situations. Uh, we have two Volt Lines here because Omega Locking, 7k Booster, why not? You know, like, there's probably a couple other things that you could throw in here, but I really like having the Volt Lines. Like, you guys have no idea. I, I love having these Volt Lines because people are so afraid of Omega Locking. You'd, you'd be surprised. I mean, you could use something like, you know, good old Lanthanum here uh, to build up even more power, but personally, the fact that you can keep your opponent's locked cards Omega Locked, which is still a really helpful thing, even with the new Link Jokers, is a nice prospect. I mean, he's he and Osmium are probably two of the best support cards Link Joker ever got. So running two of them just as tech, it's not a problem at all. Then four Dark Metal Chameleon. Love this card. He's amazing. Gem Break 1, when he's unlocked, you unflip a damage. Super easy, just consistent damage on flipping, it's it's great. And then he has the, res the resist skill on top of that, so your opponent, if you're if you're in a mirror match, can't lock him with their own Link Joker units. And that's great, because then, you know, you just have more control over what happens to this card. He, he can't be retired, he can't be balanced, he can't be anything. So he's just a, a really reliable utility in this deck. And then, our, of course, our four Cosmolus for perfect guards, damage on flipping. I think he looks cool. I think he looks great. And then the name, Flower Blooming in the Vacuum, it's, it's interesting. New Link Jokers are, are, are really interesting. I like how they, they changed up the style pretty, pretty definitively. Good word of the day, definitively. Then we run one Neon Messiah for our starter. You know, obvious forerunner, Gen Break 1, put it into your soul. When it's unlocked, you pay the cost, you do. Search your deck for up to one Grade 3 with Messiah in its card name. There's only one Alter Yo Messiah. Feel it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. It just... It lets you have Alter Ego Messiah more consistently, or have something for Stride Fodder. That's what I use this card for. He's like the Link Joker version of Gunner Gear Draco Kid, pretty much. And then for triggers, we just run 8 crits, 4 draws, I'm liking the fact that we got Margol clones, and then 4 heals. All, again, with a new like look and names and everything. So, I love the new Link Jokers. I think they're great, and I think they're very powerful. So, can't wait to see how the American meta, or the English meta, however you want to call it, is affected by uh, the clan change. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is really fun. I, I can't wait to use this deck in more fights. I think it's got a lot of potential. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and keep card fighting. We'll see you next time.